already are back with another video. Today we about to do a mukbang. Bit cheeky day. And already. This key. Okay, you corner. Check out her, her video. Come subscribe. Story time tonight, Monday Madness. Already know. Link will be in the description. Bad. But take the fuck out. We're gonna be telling some embarrassing stories today. I got too many. <laughs> well, I really do, but you got the flow. I start off first because we gonna set the tone. So I'll start my second. It started off when I was little. I was a very bad klutz. Like every two minutes, I would fall. Right. So my mom, she was like, she had enough. She started threatening me. She was like. If I fall one more time, <laughs> she will whoop my ass. <laughs> so, we had a party, like a family party or whatever. And I decided to get on the scooters with my cousins. I was like, I ain't gonna fall, I'm gonna be all right. She, I thought that. I chilled <laughs> my tooth. Oh, that's another Ooh, that's another one. I'll tell that story, man. So I just, I just shared the time. <laughs> Terrible. So, I'm on the scooter, right? Riding. But there was a hump on the sidewalk. And I tried to jump it with the scooter. And I tried to hop it. The front of it flipped. Talking about busting my knee. <laughs> but let's talk about how ride or die my family was, right? They tried to hide it from my mama. Period. They real good. Y'all accept the cousin application? <laughs> <laughs> they was all in the bathroom trying to clean it up real quick before my mama knows and stuff like that. They was like, don't tell her, don't tell her. <laughs> tell me why my mama found out anyway. You still be telling Nah, she just yelled at me. I was... <laughs> the bruise was so bad that it, it equaled out. It was like... You need to ask her because you with your own ass. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I really went. I was like, oop. That's why I got bad knees now. Damn. Open them up. What's yours? It's on me. Well, since she mentioned scooters, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all about this. Uh, could see what this fly not going to do. <laughs> Anyways, so Christmas Eve, my cousins decided we should go ride scooters. We in Atlanta, too, and it's part it's like a historical park or something apparently that's where they film movies at so it was a lot of people we get to the end of the ride mind y'all this is my first time learning how to ride the scooters these little new electronic scooters you know what i'm talking about Ooh. Little vroom vroom things. Mm -hmm. yeah them. so we get to the end of the ride and i don't know where my mind went but my body <laughs> flew off the scooter <laughs> i'm talking about this the scooter this me going over the scooter and I landed straight on my face, like on my lips. Mm. And that's why my tooth chipped. My tooth was sitting on my tongue and I was just sitting on the ground like, <laughs> and it's people passing by and they're like, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, bro, just keep, just keep flying, just keep flying. Let me just okay. figure myself out. But that was embarrassing, especially in somebody else's city. Like you supposed to be in another nigga city living wrong. And I just did everything wrong in another nigga city. I was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a very personal secret that nobody knows, mm. except for my mama mm. and my grandmother, cause she was dead too. <laughs> so I had a habit of taking a shower and not getting the big towel before I took a shower. So this particular time, I truly forgot. Mm. And so right by my room was the washer and dryer where we like had all the stuff at her. And I ducked in just to see if like anybody was in the hallway. Okay, cool, nobody was in the hallway. So I tiptoed so nobody can hear me go into, into the room. As Soon as I step out of the room, my brother come out of his room. We look at each other and was like, ah! <laughs> All loud and stuff. My mama downstairs, she like, what happened? My brother run into his room. He saw my titty. <laughs> Let's talk about how me and my brother have an eight-year age difference. So he's older than me. 
this dude is crying, right? I'm I'm scared too, cause I'm like he just saw all of me. Like that's <laughs> that's weird. He cries in my grandma's up, but I saw her boobs. I was like, well, I didn't want you to, but it just so happened to be this way. And then my mom was like, then hey, don't do that again. I'm not, but I didn't mean to. Like, <laughs> They always get in the boys. I'm like, how's this is my fault? He shouldn't have said, he shouldn't have came out of his room. It's his fault. I agree. Mm. Embarrassing story number two. Uh, Publix. <laughs> that's where we met. And if you ask her, I'm the one that's always going in my head. Like, you will see me working hard, hard for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> and then the next 30 minutes, I'm going, you don't know where I'm at? So, my karma came back to bite me this day because I was in the bathroom hiding and I decided to actually take a tinkle before I went back to work. So, I did that and after, you know, I was doing, I started pulling my pants up and they say, you know, the door opened. It's one of the department managers. So, at this point, we just look at each other and hear you hurry up and close the door, but I really wanted to quit that day. <laughs> I ended up quitting, but it just wasn't that day. Um, but that was embarrassing, because then afterwards, we just saw each other, and it was like a little awkward, awkward. stare. It's just like, awkward, yeah. all right, I'm going to just keep walking. I don't even know you like that. Don't tell nobody what you saw, what you seen, what you did. None of that. Snitching. Right. And <laughs> yeah, he was a snitch. Ooh, we ain't going to get into that. We ain't going to get into that. That might be a different video. Mm. The old <laughs> snitch. I ain't going to <laughs> no, we ain't gonna get into that, but mm -mm. let's see. Story number three. Oh, so, ooh, I can tell y'all how I got a fake tooth in my mouth. Though. You got a fake tooth? See, nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't know how to skate when I was younger. I still don't know how to skate, right? So, my dad decides to take me skating or whatever, and I'm in like a little. Out there in New Orleans, they had like a little smaller skating ring for people to learn how to skate and stuff like that. So, me being me, I'm like, I'm going to decide to do like some type of trick and show my daddy, right? Well, I was like, daddy, look. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a thing. Every time a kid say look, it's some bullshit. Daddy, look. <laughs> Both of my parents look. I do like a spin. And when I did that spin, see, normally how you supposed to fall, supposed to put your hands down, right? Well, no, I use my face to stop my fall. <laughs> and that's how I knocked out my tooth. That thing went boop. And I started crying. My mama was like, it's all your fault. You should have brought her to the skate park. She's still mad to this day, though. <laughs> Every time I bring it up, she be like, it's your fault. It's your fault. You should have brought her there. <laughs> He be feeling guilty too. <laughs> That's how my grandma told when she asked to give you lock me in the car for three hours. I need to tell that story. I need to. Hey. Um. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Men are embarrassing. Let's just start there. So, me and this dude, we rocking. I wouldn't say heavy, but it was pretty hefty though. We weren't rocking all the way, but we was rocking a little too, <laughs> a little too loaded for him to be in the club dancing with a fat man. I have nothing against the obese community, but if you have me, why is you in the club dancing with a fat chick? And on top of that, her hair looked dry, and she looked like Dominican or something. So that's bad. If you Dominican with dry hair. That's like embarrassing. At this point, you embarrassing yourself and me and my mama for even giving birth to me, and I mess with you. That had me hot. You know what they say? If it still trigger you, you not healed. So I don't think I'm healed from that situation. Cause why is you in the club dancing with a fat? But you know you bad when a dude go get a, a different female that's ugly. Facts. And then he looking at me stupid. Like when I see him dancing with the fat chick, I wanted to go crazy, like set it off in the club. But at the same time, I had to keep my composure because at the end of the day, I ain't gonna be the fat bitch you stuck with. What's that? So, what's that? Up? Huh? What's that up? I, I, I think I he think was. was up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was because he had shades on in the club. 
And he over there. had those glasses. Yeah. I was there. He was dancing <laughs> with this fat chick. I noticed him. I'm like, hold on. I know he ain't over there dancing. Because the crazy thing was, I saw her look down with the shades on. Like, we in the club with shades on. Like, that's how crazy it is. That's how, like, <laughs> with clothes on. Looking down, it was like, went smooth past him. I'm like, ooh. He got to get that business. Homie over there dancing. And instead of reacting how I wanted to, I start hyping him up to see how he go react. <laughs> he he started going harder. No, he started going harder. So like, you really enjoying this fat chick? Like, all along you wanted a fat chick. Why right? <laughs> you didn't just say that? Like, you life could have been a BBW all this time. That's what I'm saying. So after I hype him up, I just snatched the shades off his face because I don't know what the deal was, but everybody had shades on in the club this night. <laughs> it better be funny, right. but. I snatched the shades off his face, and that's when he look at me. We look at each other. I just keep walking, cause now that you round here hugged up with this fat chick, I don't know you. And then he try to call your phone. He texts me and said, "Come here." You think I'm gonna walk to you in a club after you was just dancing with a fat chick? Like, sir, you was disrespectful. And he just he just left a car on my car Ooh. the other day. My job, this man been cut off for a minute. He left a card on my car that said, "In my heart." <laughs> in my mind in my heart on my mind asking god to take care of you baby he is taking care of me you okay. need to go take care of that okay. fat chick don't be putting god into this god ain't got nothing to do with you and your bs okay i'm feeling disrespected again <laughs> all over again just that's so disrespectful like bro and then he was supposed to come back with me after the club like we was going out to eat and everything so it's like Oh, you was gonna come eat in my face after you was just dancing with a fat chick? That is disrespectful. <laughs> like, they don't get no more disrespectful than that. Mm -hmm. Disrespect. His mama should go ahead yeah. and just. She ain't raise him right at all. <laughs> at all. That's another story for another time. We're just gonna keep moving past that. It's a lot of tea. A lot of tea. Too much. That's like six different worlds right there. No, for real. He likes a whole story plot. <laughs> I could write a book about my experiences with this nigga. Part two of. Yeah. yeah. It's been a little crazy. Especially with um, the newfound baby daddy in the midst trying to compete with him. Like, you need to let him go. <laughs> like, bro, I don't want neither one of y'all niggas. Honestly, like, y'all both are out here tripping. <laughs> what is. Listen. I'm a, we gonna teach y'all something. Rule number one: We ain't even gotta do nothing for these dudes to be coming back at us. Honestly, like, you see don't how text them. Don't text them. Watch how they come text you. He texted me from a, <laughs> a text app as we speak. He texted me yesterday from a text app. I knew it was him. I was like, nope, not today, Satan. <laughs> not on this good old Sunday. That's not right. me. You think that? It's starting to look that way. And um, I usually don't approve of relationships like this. Because I feel like black kings should go for the queens. But, you know, I support interracial okay. love. Did y'all learn nothing from Beyonce? Black is king. But we don't want him. <laughs> she can have him. <laughs> we don't want him. We good off that one. You can maybe, keep that black king. like some NFL basketball players. More power to the both of y'all. But you can keep him. And don't speak it for the rest of the black queens. You, would you? Would you? Exactly. Yeah, I'm good. I need I'm good. like a Iman Shumpa type. Ooh, yes. Yes. Or. Go that. You just made it a bit. Free that for real. Like, 2022, we get married. And I don't care if he like it or not. Hey. Y'all come to a wedding with Kodak. <laughs> it probably won't be no wedding, but. Because <laughs> I got to get him to approve first, but. That's true. No. You can't just be wiping anybody. Who, anybody? <laughs> it ain't the fat chick from the club. That's anybody. That's anybody. The fat chick from the club with the dry hat. That's anybody. We need an interview. Why did you do what you did? No, for real. This particular night. I Why have I a lot of them there? questions. Like, out of all. Emails. You go to the bottom of the barrel. My ex is always embarrassing me, though. <laughs> always. When you when you an ace, be an ace. Stop being anything else. That's it. That's all. <sighs> we still do embarrassing stories. 
We got off track. It's like 15 minutes. We did. Yeah, we, I think that's enough for today. That's good. Y'all be blessed in these streets. <laughs> Come see me on Key's Corner tonight. Monday Night Madden Come story time. Her. She got some tea. I'm going to do some more tea after this one. Yeah, the tea that I got tonight, it's... <laughs> Listen. Just come tune in. Her, I tell you what the story is going to be about? Nah. All right, I'm going to tell you what we cut the camera. Because, uh, yeah. Real ghetto. That for sure. <laughs> that for sure. Just know, mine's going to be juicy too. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they don't even know. I got too many stories for days. But, but with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Keys Corner. The link will be in the description. That way you said. Hi guys. We gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my